Karen Jetley Live. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss waterfall model V model. So guys, in this we will be discussing what is a waterfall model, what is a V model also called as validation and verification model and what are the similarities and differences between both of them. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. So guys, whether it is waterfall model or it is V model, both of them, they follow the SDLC. Okay, so what is SDLC? SDLC stands for System Development Life Cycle. Or if you are software engineering students, then it stands for Software Development Life Cycle. Okay, so both the models, they follow SDLC. Okay, both the models, they follow SDLC. And what is X SDLC and what are the different stages of SDLC? For that, I have another full detailed video. The link of that video, I will put in the description section for your reference. So guys, now let us come to the first model that is called as waterfall model. So guys, when we talk about waterfall model, so these are the different stages of waterfall model okay first one is called as requirement analysis in which you study what the user wants okay and you study in detail what present system is doing how it is doing and what are the problems in it okay so in second stage whatever the problems you identified here in the first stage okay you try to solve them using the system design so when the design is complete you move to the next stage that is called as implementation in implementation in software products what is implementation whatever you design when you start coding it using some programming language and you start developing the software that thing is called as implementation after implementation you move to the testing so whatever you have developed here we tested part by part and as a system together also so there are different types of testings for testings i will make another detailed video okay after the system has been tested everything is verified then you move to deployment so what is deployment deployment is when you deliver the product to the customer or when you install the system to the customer's location that is called as system deployment and even deployment there are many activities and there are many different ways to do the deployment for that also i have a detailed video i will share that link also then the last stage is maintenance so what is maintenance when the system is running after time some time or from time to time you need to go and fix some errors or you need to go and update the system from time to time that stage is called as maintenance now guys why this model is called as waterfall model we call it waterfall model because they say as the waterfalls from top to bottom similarly we move from one stage to another means after the requirement is over we move to design when the design is over we move to implementation when implementation is over we move to testing and so on so like a waterfall we can move from top to bottom but we cannot go back from bottom to top for example from system design if you want to go to requirement you cannot means after this stage is over after the requirement says over, all the requirements are frozen. You cannot go back when you are in design and make changes to it. Okay. So that's why we call it as waterfall model. Like waterfalls from top to bottom, it cannot go back from bottom to top. Similarly, in this, if one stage is over, the output of that stage is frozen. You cannot make any changes. You cannot do anything about it. And normally the waterfall model is followed in the projects where you are very much sure about your requirements, where you are 100% sure about your requirements. This is what I want. And in later, there are no big changes or there are no changes at the later stage of the projects. In such projects, we follow the waterfall model. Basically, waterfall model is borrowed in software from the traditional engineering projects. Where in the beginning, you are sure about what exactly you want to do. And once you start, you cannot go back and make changes now coming to the waterfall model okay after the implementation we have a testing we have a 
testing okay so what is testing so testing is when we test whether the system what we developed is working according to our requirements or not and guys testing is something which makes waterfall model different than the v model okay so that's why i am emphasizing on testing so basically what is waterfall model it is a linear model in which the system analysis and design stages in which the sdlc stages they come one after another they follow a sequential pattern and once one stage is over it is finished you cannot go back to that stage again and you can make changes so this model is basically it cannot adapt to the new changes okay it is a very rigid model we also call it as traditional model we also call it as traditional model why because it has been borrowed from the traditional engineering okay so in this model once one stage is over there is no going back to that stage okay and here the testing is a separate stage where we test our system whether it is meeting our requirements or not so what is this this is called as waterfall model and we follow this model when we are sure about the requirements okay we follow our model when we are sure about the requirements there is very low risk involved in the project and there is very low risk involved in the project basically for the routine projects this model is followed basically for the routine tasks routine projects this model is followed okay so after this the next model which ca ca comes is called as v model and now guys coming to the v model as i told you v model is also called as verification and validation model so what is basically verification and validation so verification is the way in which we try to check whether something is right or wrong so what is that thing called as it is called as verification and how we will verify something is correct or not okay so all those things come under verification and after we actual test it and we check it and whether the output generated is right or wrong then we validate the thing okay for example to explain you verification and validation for example if you are creating a module to check the username and password now what is verification verification tells how we are going to check whether the system is working correctly or not how we will check we will enter the username and we will enter the password then the system will try to match that username with that password with the username and password stored in the system so this is how we are going to verify it this is how we are going to verify it and what is validation validation says when you actual enter the username and you actual enter the password then the system checks and tells you whether the entered username password is correct or not so what is that thing that is called as validation verification is basically we tell how we are going to verify something and what is validation validation is when we test it with the actual data when we test that thing with the actual data so that we can make sure this is right or this is wrong so this is verification and validation so verification basically tells how something will be tested in the future how something will be tested and what is validation when we test that thing with the actual data when we test that thing with the actual data and inside the actual program and we run that actual data in the program okay then we see whether it is generating the right results or not so then based upon that we validate based upon that we validate it now guys in the beginning i told you v model and waterfall model they differ from each other based upon the testing in waterfall model we have a testing as a separate state but in v model at each stage we have testing involved at each stage we have testing involved so now let us go to the v model what are the different stages requirement analysis same like waterfall model system design same like waterfall model then architecture design 
बेसिकली वॉट इज आर्किटेक्चर हाउ योर सिस्टम विल वर्क एज अ होल वॉट आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम हाउ दे विल वर्क विद ईच अदर ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर डिसाइडेड एंड डिजाइन इन द आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन देन मॉड्यूल डिजाइन वॉट इज अ मॉड्यूल डिजाइन ईच स्मॉल प्रोग्राम ऑफ द सिस्टम हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन इट एंड आफ्टर ऑल द डिजाइनिंग हैज बिन डन यू गो टू द कोडिंग एंड आफ्टर कोडिंग यू नो testing as i told you in v model our main focus is on the testing so so many testings are there okay stage wise all these testings we do everywhere in whatever model you for but here all these testings they also have different stages first is unit testing then is integration testing what is unit testing when we test the small module or small part of the system and after it is okay we combine them it with another parts then we test them together what do we call it we call it as integration testing then after this we test our system as a whole in a real environment when we have the full fledged system we test it in the real environment what do you call it we call it as system testing and the last one is the acceptance testing we also call it as user acceptance testing it is directly related to the user requirements so basically acceptance testing we see how much user is satisfied with the new system and guys acceptance testing is very very important stage okay why because the if the user is not satisfied with the system he is not going to pay you most of the payments are linked with the acceptance testing so basically quickly i told you the stages and if you look at the v model if you look at the v model it is also a sequential model it is also a sequential model it is also a linear model from here to there like your waterfall model like your waterfall model but in v model as i call it as verification and validation model after each stage after each stage or at the each stage we write requirement analysis then here we design the test cases how the requirements will be tested we design the test cases at the same same stage okay here is the requirement analysis and this is how the requirements will be tested this is how the requirements will be tested when we finish it okay then we move to the next design so we create the system design and at the same time how system will be tested we also write the test cases at the same time just for what for the verification in the future okay then we do architecture design there also we design how the architecture will be tested okay then module design here we design how this modules each module will be tested okay and then when the stage starts of testing for example now unit testing started so whatever test we designed here while we were designing the module those tests will be executed those tests will be executed in order to validate whether this thing is working properly or not so when we design the test cases so we specify how we are going to verify them how we are going to verify them and when the actual testing starts okay module design i specify so this is how i am going to verify it and when the unit testing starts so whatever i specified how i am going to test it so we follow that case in order to test it we follow that test cases in order to test it and validate it after the unit testing has been validated we move to integration testing and the cases while we were doing the architecture design we made the integration test cases for the verification and when we actually verify them and we find everything is right or not right then we validate them or we invalidate them if everything is right okay according to this verification case everything is okay then we validate it this is fine let us move to the next stage and similarly system testing while we were designing the system we specify how the system will be tested and here we actually test it here we actually test it and everything okay we go to the next stage and so on so what do we call it verification so what is verification verification is the way how we are going to test that 
a part of the system and we decide it while we are at that part we decide it while we are at that part and what is validation so whatever the method or whatever the case using which we will verify the system we execute that case in the real program and then depending if everything is okay we validate it if everything is okay we validate it and it guys i told you like waterfall model v model is also a linear model v model is also a linear or a sequential model but what is the main difference between waterfall model and v model is the testing in waterfall model we have testing as a separate stage which comes after the system development but in v model at each stage we verify everything so that later we can validate everything so in this model our main focus is our main focus is testing so that we do not do any mistake and more we test lesser are the chances of system failure so that's why here the main focus is on validation and verification basically in simple english we call it the main focus is on testing and we test everything after each and every stage after each and every stage so guys i hope you understand it i hope you understand it and in next part of the video quickly i will mention the similarities and differences between waterfall model and the v model so guys now quickly what are the similarities and what are the differences between waterfall and v model so basically both are sequential model okay both are sequential so both in both the model the stages come one after another as i told you and both are rigid both are rigid means both offer very little flexibility means if one stage is over in both cases it is very difficult to go back to the previous stage the v model offers little flexibility okay just very little flexibility but waterfall model does, does not offer any flexibility at all but we call the both model both of these models they are rigid they are linear means the stages come one after another both are sequential and what are the differences okay as i told you many times in waterfall model testing is a separate stage but in v model we on incorporate testing at each stages isn't it when we get the requirements we write the cases cases for the acceptance testing isn't it so when we do the system design at the same time we write the cases for the integration testing and so on okay so then this model the waterfall model since the testing is less so it has higher chances of failure it has higher chances of failure but in v model we do extensive testing at each and every phase okay too much emphasis is given on testing which makes this model a successful model means the chances of failure using a v model okay is very low is very low and when the last thing and the most important thing the waterfall model is simply simple to implement okay so in that the testing is done only at one stage the cost is low the cost is low but in v model due to extensive nature of testing means whatever the stages are for example in v model we have eight stages and for each eight stage we have eight stages of testing also okay so which increases the cost of the project okay so v model is expensive okay but ensures but it ensures the success of your project as compared to waterfall model is less expensive but the chances of failure are high in waterfall model okay and normally guys v model is used for a small duration project but waterfall model okay since it is not flexible we use it in the conditions where we know the requirements and the project lasts from 3 to 10 years okay so it is for the mainly used in the long duration projects so guys i hope i made myself clear so guys that's all for today so if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more lectures related to different topics of it and much more so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned